Sometimes you can get really frustrated trying to say the word frustrated because there's an R and it's not frustrated, but sometimes you gotta look it up or else you feel crazy and frustrated. Uh, fantastic, my name is Curtis and morning everybody. I had this whole paragraph and in my head it was just like, oh, and it's gonna end basically with the word auspicious and it's gonna make sense and the word auspicious is fantastic. And then I thought, uh, you know, perhaps that word does not mean what I think it means. So I should, I should maybe look it up. And then I did. And it basically means the exact opposite of what I thought it meant. I thought, hey, it'd be, you know, it's, uh, delusions of grandeur is, is the uh, uh, actual uh, definition, i.e., uh, hey, I'm pretty sure I can lift that truck. Wow, that's super awesome of you to uh, believe in yourself that much, but no, no you can't. You're being auspicious right now. But that's not what it means. It means, hey, I'm gonna move that truck, and I can move that truck, and then they do, because not only, they weren't just believing in themselves, they were uh, just being positive towards a thing they could actually do, and then success. Uh, either way, you're not supposed to tell people how to live their life or what they're supposed to do, uh, when I was, you know, a tiny little kid, uh, going to elementary school, the elementary school teacher would teach you words, and this is the proper way to say these words, and then you learn at some point the word February has an R where you don't think it is, and it's actually February, and most people don't say February. I'm having a terribly, incredibly tough time saying February without my mouth falling apart, uh, but you know, going home and, and saying to my parents or whatever, like, oh, like, turns out we've been saying it wrong. It's February. And then being like, yeah, no, that's just how we say it. Deal with that. Like, I, oh, okay. And then going back to school and then being like, hey, teacher, um, my parents said that, like, they just say it that way. So, so what are we doing? So what are we doing here? Does it, does it matter? Are we supposed to, are we changing the world? Are you changing my mind? Am I supposed to take this information out there and do things? And the answer was, no, don't worry about it. There's lots of people that they say things the way they say the things and they'll never change and that's okay. Well, I I used to say February like yesterday and, and, and now there's an R in it. So I don't know, what are we, again, what are we doing here? Uh, should, should I be making up my own language? Because when I turn around 30 or so, I'm going to notice that when I try to read, it's it's words that I've never seen before, and you've never, ne definitely never seen before, and you probably don't because you're probably dead by now. No offense, um, <clears throat> but uh, emoticons and somebody wrote a thing today. It was all like hands, and then like a face, and then a thing, and I'm like, <sighs> this makes sense to some people somewhere. Somebody can read this. Hieroglyphs are back. Uh, once again, whatever the matrix is, however we're plugged in, it's all, it is all a cycle, and eventually we'll get to the end where we start making pictures, and then, you know, somehow we come backwards through time, or it just keeps going forward through, and we just go like, hey, you know what's cool? Building stuff out of stone and clay, uh, cause we've run out of things, and then let's, let's draw pictures, cause language has gotten out of hand, and then next thing we know, we've created the Egyptians, and we're standing there going, oh, snaps! It was us the whole time. It was always Earth. And then we forget again, and then we keep going. And Masavenya, it's it's the biggest circle of life ever. It's the key, you know, it's all opening up through through the texting and whatnot. Speaking of delusions of grandeur, um Got a little guest here, I guess. Uh so this is Optometrist Prime. He is, I don't know, a reputable optometrist, eye doctor, not mine. Uh, from somewhere, and uh, Ripley's brought him in, and we're gonna we're gonna meet him, I guess. So, Mister Optometrist Optometrist Prime. Um, yeah, Ripley. Uh, he just makes car noises. It, no, I. I, no, I, di I didn't know anything. I thought you would know what's going on. You would check these things out before and make sure they... 
I'm super sorry about this. I'm super sorry. I don't mean to be rude. No, yeah, no, I know that I can, but understanding you is a different set of Chewbacca rules. And this is a car. I don't understand cars. I just don't get them. Again, no offense. I don't mean it in the way that you think that I mean it. Um, yeah, no, I didn't. Ripley, seriously, I didn't like watching the movie cars. They were still revving their engines. Listen, honestly, I'm sure on Autobotron, wherever you're from, but up there, what you're doing right now, I know, I know. Again, I'm super sorry, but yes, I'm sure it sounds great. Maybe you're even singing, for all I know, on your planet. And this is definitely racist, and I, I don't want to talk about this, but I... I'm Again, super sorry. Don't know what's going on right now. Uh, Ripley, there's got to be some way you can... There's no translate. Like, how do... He's an optometrist. Like, here, right? Like, on this planet? How do we... Do you do any research? You don't do any research. You just... How did this... Even, he's a robot. He's a robot man, but he sounds like a car. You're a robot man, but you sound like a car. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ripley, get me out of this. He can hear everything I'm saying. I think he understands me, but I don't understand him. No. No. All right. Honestly, if you want to stick around for a bit, that's awesome. I'm just going to talk about one more thing, and I'm going to escape out of this. Uh, I heard they're, they're, they're supposedly making a new Transformers movie, and as far as I know, the new designs still don't look like Transformers. Um, there's a movie called Transmorphers. It's like a fake version of Transformers where they don't look like Transformers, but they still, the name is almost kind of there. You guys have the rights to it. You don't have to do a fake Transformers. You paid for it. They want you to do it. It's okay to make them look like Transformers. It's actually encouraged. Uh, if you want to make uh, whatever, Carformers or Transmorphotrons or whatever crazy name you can come up with, go ahead. Make whatever you want. But... You have access to making actual, I don't know, the amount of money you've spent. You could have built real Transformers. You could have built real Transformers. You, got the, you have the technology. This is what I've got. Yeah, this is still expensive garbage. But it's just as much garbage as the Transformers were garbage. And very expensive. Incredibly expensive. Anyway, Ripley, get me out of this. Have you ever wanted a sketch from me, but were afraid to ask? Sure. We all are. Even I am. Even this puppet is. But it's okay. I've got a simple internet form that you can just click on for an incredibly reasonable-ish fee of $50. I'll do a nice sketch on paper and then send it to you in the real live mail and you can put it on your wall. Fantastic. That way you get a sketch and you don't have to do that turtle test from the 80s. In the mail! And we're back. Um, I don't know. I think I'll leave this chair empty. Maybe I'll put something there. Um, so, I, I think this is like my last week of work, like an actual job. So last week when I was like, does this show my job? Yes, now it's my job. Hey, welcome to my job. It takes place in my living room in my basement apartment. How's it going? It's awesome. So, aside from that commercial you just saw for uh, sketches and artwork, uh, I also have a, a nice juicy stack of poetry books, which sometimes I rhyme, uh, <clears throat> and I'll open those up and sketch in them for you and send it in the mail for, again, the same, same giant fee. Go to the website uh, or just go to the Facebook, facebook.com slash morning, everybody. Click on that contact button at the top, and that'll take you to uh, the No Such Thing as Grown Ups Morning Everybody page where, where, you, can, where you can spend money on me. But yeah, turns out uh, normally uh, during the day I make video games. Making video games is hard. Our newest game, Nerdtopia, uh, which I just made a trailer for like early this week, I did like a thousand things in the last like week and a half, two weeks, four weeks. Yeah, probably something like that. Imagine, I can't even imagine, what, what am I going to do when I could spend a whole day, a whole week on this show? It's going to be, it's going to be a little bit silly, a little bit crazy. It might be a little bit rock and roll. Perhaps country. No. Mm -hmm. But uh, at my job, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, maybe maybe Nerdtopia will will bring in some money and we'll we'll get to go back to work on it in a, in a few weeks or a few days. 
Who knows? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this thing for a little bit. But yeah, here's a trailer that I threw together for the game. Um, doing my best. Uh, let's talk about it after. Let's watch this real quick. It didn't start off bad. We were just looking for the cure for the common apocalypse. We were building a Nerdopia. Our Nerdopians were well fed, rested, and entertained. We had to hurry before, before the next catastrophe went to zoo, like a common triceratops. The pressure was too much for some. They crashed. Building a business is hard. Welcome to Nerdopia. And we're back. And yeah, that's my best Batman voice. And wow, like I was ruined for the rest of the day. And that's that's pretty short, but I also recorded like four other different versions that are, are not a Batman voice. And that one I was like, mm, your your trailers are pretty cool, Mike, but give me 20 minutes. Uh, or give me four or five hours, actually. And uh, let me see what I can do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the Craig character because he's my favorite. And I'm going to take this music you found. I'm going to jam this in there. And I'm going to chop it all up to like just the most dramatic parts. And and that's what we had. That's what I did. Like that was, you know, uh, an afternoon of my life doing that. So if if I have a whole week to do that, it's going to get crazy. Like I have so many notes and so many things. Not in here. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll animate one of these. That's uh, probably a good idea. I also have the second uh, installment of this book, which is uh, about 100 pages longer. Um, so we'll work on um, getting that out there on this show as well. But yeah, like today's episode uh, is done in about, let's say, two to three hours. Uh, so let's let's see what happens when I have a week. And that's, that's what's going on with me. Um, you might notice the show is going to have a bit more structure. And, and yes, it's basically becoming uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. And I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm super okay with that. I'll probably talk to some of these paintings. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, the sky is, is kind of the limit. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it. So uh, uh, come, come join me. All right, real quick. Here's a special segment uh, slash cartoon that uh, I think we can all learn from. And we're back once again. Uh, so let's uh, finish off, as we always will from now on, with our uh, morning meme. I seem to make these memes whenever I take the dog for a walk. So, uh, so here's today's meme, and uh, I always mean what I say, and I say what I mean. <laughs> That's a thing. And it's true because I just did it. I said it and then I meaned it. Don't don't stab anybody. Be good, be careful. And good morning, everybody. Hey, click on my butt or Ripley's butt to subscribe. Click on my butt. Click on my butt. Click on my butt. <laughs>